What's up guys, it's your boy Anthony Arendell bringing you once again another TTC Tony Tech Cave tutorial. Today we will be uh, installing, by the way guys, I'm extremely excited. We're going to be installing today the Aragon V6 ROM and of course it is made by the awesome developer Skeleton 1911. Stick around guys. <laughs> Yes guys, thank you very much for sticking around to my channel. Today we are definitely uh, going to be flashing something extremely awesome. This as you can see is the normal ROM. Let's zoom in a little bit. This is the normal ROM, but it's okay guys. Um, once we are done with this, we will have the um, Aragon V6 ROM. Guys, like I said, I'm, I'm extremely excited to install uh, the a new Aragon ROM for you. Um, again, what does it bring to the table? The ROM is extremely fast. Uh, ROM support is extremely great. I had an issue testing out oh, with one of the things on the ROM while I was installing it. And I contacted the developer, uh, Skeleton1911, and this guy is no jokes. He actually takes his time to help you out. So if you get a chance to support uh, Skeleton11 by going to his, uh, um, his forum and downloading this awesome ROM and also uh, showing your support by maybe donating, that would be fantastic, guys. Let's don't forget this ROM was not possible without him. Okay, with all that being said, uh, let's start. All right, guys, uh, first order thing what you want to do is you want to obviously go to uh, Aragon's uh, <laughs> ROM thread. I am going to be leaving a link into the description below. Uh, once you're at Aragon's thread, what you want to do is you want to go all the way down until you see download. You click, uh, well, it should be uh, show content. I have it on high because obviously I was here before. Let's see, it'll be so. And then you click on show content. And ta -da! Here you have the Aragon V6. Uh, number one, you click it, boom, you will get a link. Once you have the link, what you want to do is you want to download it. If you're on your telephone, you can download it via the, the application or you can just click on download on your computer. Now, you click on download and it should start to download. I am not going to click on it because I already have it, but good, because I'm, I'm such a nice guy, I'm just going to show you. And then I'm going to pause it because obviously, again, I already have the file. So, once you got the file, you want to prepare the computer. And by preparing the computer, I mean you have to download all of the uh, drivers necessary in order to install this. I will be leaving a link into the description below. Um, what will happen is that you will come uh, to uh, this place and you can choose your download link. Let's have a look. I'm going to just refresh. All right, guys. Uh, what you want to do is you want to download the UPro tools. This is what you actually need in order to have the whole process working. I already covered this on my uh, on another tutorial that I have on how to revive this telephone. But let's continue. Download this all, and once you click it, it should ask if you want to download it. In your case, you would do save. In my case, I'm just going to click cancel because obviously, as you can see, Pro Tools, I already have it, and it's even zipped down. So I click cancel, you click save, okay? Once that is done, uh, the next order of business that you want to go to where you save, obviously, uh, the UPro tools. Now, for me, I have taken the liberty of putting them on my desktop. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click U, UPro tools. I go into the UPro tools. And here uh, you will have a, a bunch of different files and folder. What you want to do is once you're here, guys, it's very important. The order doesn't matter, but please make sure that you install all three. First, you want to install Python 2.7. Now, you want to double click it and install it. I don't because I already got it installed. Once that is done, you want to install Python 3.6.3. Uh, you want to double click it, and then if it asks you to install, obviously, you're going to just be saying yes. For me, I get another different menu because obviously, I already have it installed. But for you, yes, 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 all the time. Okay. Next order of business once uh, both Pythons have been installed, you're gonna have a zip called Qualcomm Drivers. Unzip it and you'll get a folder called Qualcomm Driver V1.0. Please guys, it is very, very, very important that you install this as well. Uh, do not forget um, to click yes. I am gonna click no, but you, you, yes, me, no. Okay, guys. Okay, so now you have all uh, you have Python uh, 3.6, you have Python 2.7, and you have Qualcomm installed. We're almost there. Don't get nervous. Next thing you need to install is the QPST tool. This is the most important part because without this, we can't flash. Open up the folder. You will get a bunch of different uh, uh, icons. What you want to do is you want to click on QPST 2.7.460. You double click it, and it should ask you to install. Again, guys, I've already got it installed. 
you click yes I click no that's the deal okay and then once everything is installed um, what you want to do is you want to make sure that um, you open up QFill so that's, that's the flash tool how did how, uh, where uh, do I find the QFill now don't forget that once you install the tool you have to obviously find that icon so you go to properties well in my case I'm going to properties just to show you where the Q file is I do open location and for me it's on the C program files Qualcomm QPST and then in bin and bin I will find the Q fill file this and what I what you do is either you can double click it or you can make a shortcut to the desktop I made a shortcut to the desktop you might want to do that all right let's go now what you want to do is you want to open up the QFill and once you open up the QFill up guys do not be intimidated it looks very intimidating I always say that because uh, it does look very intimidating but actually it's not um, once you're here guys do not panic let's set this up first and then we'll go to the phone you want to go to flat build so you click on flat build and then once you've done that you want to browse to where you unzip the ROM uh, the, the V6 now obviously I've already uh, unzipped my V6 where is it here it is for me it's Aragon U Pro V6 I'm just gonna click it and then it's gonna of course once again the uh, um, it's gonna show up with the prog EMC UFS that is exactly what you need click it and now it'll be loaded up the Aragon underscore U underscore Pro underscore V underscore 6 so you know this is good now select build it's already been selected and the the last thing you want to load is the XFL so you click on this and then it's gonna take you to the exact same folder where you just was for the uh, uh, V6 guys what I really like about this ROM is that you have a choice you can either choose um, to do the raw program on spars that means that it will wipe the whole thing I would advise you to just please do a wipe if you're coming from any ROM for now please do a wipe if by any chance uh, you have the exact same ROM already and you don't want to lose anything or you have the V5 or you're coming from the V4 you can always use no wipe but we're not gonna do that we are gonna go with wipe which is the the first one the raw program underscore on spars yeah click it it's uh, it's gonna come up right away and ask you to load the patch click the patch and guys voila everything is already loaded and now we go to the easiest part all right guys usually on other tutorials or on other websites um, you would have to use ADB um, you can use Android ADB if you want but my whole point is I'm just gonna make it easier for you guys because the only reason we're gonna use ADB is to go into EDL mode that's the recovery mode we're gonna do it differently in this video we're gonna make it easier I'm not gonna have you do any commands no commands no el bueno what do we do on the phone we turned it off so you power it off and usually other developers will tell you that you have to put it uh, in USB debugging mode and developer mode that is very true but that is just a longer step I want to make sure that I give you the quickest and simplest step into getting this working and trust me it does work look the phone is out here is the tricky part here you have the volume plus and the volume down and the power what you want to do is you want to hold all three of them down at the same time and you want to plug in this cable so just now we're gonna do so one two three power and then the cable in and you're gonna keep holding them in until you hear a sound in your computer and the correct drivers are loaded are we ready guys okay so I'm gonna I already have these two fingers here plus minus and then power and then one two three all of them at the same time and just keep holding them in Ta -da! look at this I'm already in EDL mode this is uh, HS USB Q loader 908 please make sure that it's 9008 and no 9008 emergency or nothing then it's wrong and that's it guys now the phone is ready to go as you can see it's off but the computer is detecting it and the only thing we have to do in order to get this baby flash is we're gonna click on download you click on that and guys please bear in mind this is gonna take very long sometimes you think that there's nothing happening because there's no bars moving but you see all kinds of things going on here it's working okay just wait please be patient see a little blue bar is already showing there me with my outrider shaky hands look at that but a blue bar is already loading you just gotta wait 
I'm gonna pause the video for now and we're gonna come back when it's 100% and you like what you see. All right guys, as you can see, this thing is 100%. The phone is still black and finish download. Once again, guys, with every flash, doesn't matter. Once you flash in the Elephone uh, uh, U Pro, you're always gonna get download fills, fire hose. That is the only error you're always gonna get, but finish is always complete. So, guys, it's done. What do we do when it's done? First, you plug the cable out. Once the cable is out, you wanna hold in the power button for as long as you need to hold it in until the phone starts to boot. The first time, sorry. <laughs> You hold it in for as long as you need to and as you can see it'll turn on in about 8 seconds uh, or 10 seconds Doesn't matter just leave it do its thing. It's gonna also give you uh, uh, this warning that the device bootloader is unlocked But good of course you knew that um, the, uh, the, the ROM is completely unlocked All you do is just wait let it do it magic Eventually it'll boot up and once it's booted up you will be greeted to Aragon um, Look by the way this these kinds of errors you're gonna get just leave it See, it's gonna boot up again. Again, just wait. Guys, patience is a virtue. I said earlier on another tutorial, if you need to do some woosah by grabbing your ears, do that, just wait. And this should be the last boot. If I'm not mistaken, it should now go further. You should just now see the Aragon logo. And once you see that, ladies and gentlemen, you know that it'll be good. And just like clockwork, ta-da! Aragon, oh yeah. Now, let's leave it boot, and I'll be right back with you with my loud voice to let you know what's up. All right, guys, uh, and I'm, I'm, I was already uh, setting up the phone. I'm gonna set it up as a new one. Skip, continue. It's just for the purpose of, the, uh, of this uh, tutorial. I'm just gonna skip to everything. Uh, skip, no fingerprint. I'm gonna do that later. Skip anyways. And here you have the new Aragon V6. Let's see if that is correct. We're gonna go into system. About you, pro. And check it out guys, it is uh, the V6. Here you have the latest update, the May 5th update. And then when you go down to the build version, there you have it, Aragon V6 by Skeleton 1911. And, and guys, I cannot straight that Skeleton 11 is the man. He got this shit working for everybody. So please show your appreciations. And once again, show your support, go to his page, download and smash every single thank you button there is. And if you can support him by also donating, guys, then please do that because these ROMs don't make or test themselves. Hi right, guys, welcome back. As you saw, that wasn't difficult at all. Um, I showed you the easiest way to flash this ROM. Um, if you have to follow the original guide or other people on the internet, they will tell you that you need to use the ADB. Um, that is very true. A lot of people have a lot of issues with ADB commands. So I took it upon myself to show you the easiest way to flash this. No ADB no, uh, needed as you saw. And trust me, it works every single time. I've been flashing all my uh, Aragon ROMs like that. I've had absolutely no issues. So I don't expect that you're going to have any issues at all. Now, a lot of people are wondering, like, but Anthony, uh, what, what, what is, what, why am I downloading that ROM? Uh, why is it so important? What is new? Well, I'm just gonna read a few things out for you, uh, what's new on this ROM, so that you know. Um, according to Aragon, it's rebased on the latest 2018-05-11. It comes with an unlocked bootloader, which makes absolutely a lot of sense. Remember when we started the phone, it was telling me that it's unlocked. Um, I see that uh, made wipe optional in Q-Flash. Uh, that is true, that is the little option I was showing you in order to have it or uh, fully flash, um, and by fully flash I mean fully flash erase, or fully flash with uh, this, the data that you had earlier. Uh, we have the HD icons in the status bar for Volte, we have updated app, we have May security patch, which is exactly what you need. Increased camera quality, I can attest to that, I have been testing it out, and the camera quality is way better. And optimized system file and performance tweaks, this ROM is fast as hell. If you like the things that you just heard, guys, and you want to support me, um, please um, smash that like button. In fact, don't smash it. Hulk smash that like button, and please subscribe. Guys, once again, my name is Anthony Arundel, and this has been another TTC Tony Tech Cave shit. Tony Tech Cave tutorial. See you on the next one, guys. Thank you for watching.